my daughter wanted to know why I chose to become a divorce lawyer. So sitting at dinner with my daughter and she asked me, why did you become a divorce lawyer? And I told her that I didn't really have plans to be a divorce lawyer. So divorce is hard. I mean, d divorce kind of sucks sometimes, right? And most of the times for most people going through it, obviously it's, it's, it's devastating. It's debilitating. It's emotional. It's, it's, it's ugh, everything. But I get to help people through that process. So I help them get from one side of it to the other. And I do it in a way that I feel pretty good in the way that I practice. I feel pretty good in the way that I help them through it. And again, I'm not going to be able to help everybody. Uh, I'm not perfect, not a perfect attorney, um, but I do the best that I can. And divorce is interesting because did I think I was going to be doing it? No. I mean, I went to law school in New York. So I, you know, I'm thinking big Manhattan firm, right? Sweet signing bonus. I mean, ah, do this, right? Sounds good. Uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> so and then I applied, didn't hear anything back. The resume is still sitting there. I don't think I would want it anyways, but no, nothing against big firms, nothing against Manhattan, big firms. You guys are awesome. Sweet. Now I did get a job in a small boutique firm right outside of New York city when I was in law school and I got to really get some really good knowledge of what a small firm is like and what if you're, you're focused and you exclusively work on one area of law like how you can become pretty good at it and how you can enjoy it you can make a living you can pay your staff pay your bills um it's and enjoy yourself in the meantime especially if it's something you're good at and you understand so that started to kind of give me a little bit of a mind set change right did I think I would be in law school? While I'm sitting there, and if you're in law school right now, and you're like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> the good thing about law school is you don't really have to choose immediately. Now, if you're watching this like 10 years from now and they make you change in the beginning, you know, just disregard all of that, right? But at least when I went through, when I went through, when I went through that law school, when I was in lawyer school, you get this general practice degree so you can do whatever you want with it. You don't have to be a lawyer. There's a lot of people that go to law school that realize, yeah, 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 yeah. arguing with people all day long or transactional work or in court or whatever, you know. You know, they're like, no, I'd rather use it for something else. But it's, you know, it's a graduate school degree. It's worth it. If you use it correctly in the way that you need to, I had a great time in law school. Maybe sometimes too much fun. But I had a great time in New York. Uh, moved back down to Florida because I like Florida. I like New York too, but really like Florida. Um, from Florida, so I wanted to come back here. And got a job in a family law firm where I realized, wow, like this is, this is pretty interesting. It's tough. It is not easy. <laughs> it is hard. It is hard every single day, right? You sit down, you think, okay, here's my to-do list, right? You know, one, two, 74, you know, whatever. Like probably none of those you're going to get to each day. <laughs> you're going to be hit with emergency after emergency in this or that, or this opposing counsel is demanding a response by 3 p.m. It's gotta be a 3 p.m. Right now, right now. Why does it always have to be at 3 p.m.? Like what, you know, I don't know. But helping people, people, that's the operative term, people. So if you represent a business, you're helping that business. And maybe you know the owner or you're representing or whatever, you know, insurance company and you know, what, what, whatever, you know, there, there's so many different beneficial parts to so many different areas of law. For me, I just personally like the component of it's a person, like I'm representing a person and I'm, you know, and, and yeah, they may be miserable going through it. They may be just devastated. And they're going through a grieving process. It's, it's like going through the death of a spouse. It's, it's, it sucks. It really does. So for them, for me, I can compartmentalize it enough that I can help them through the process. And yes, I do get paid for it. Making money off of 
of a divorce. <laughs> Heaven forbid that people would want a attorney to go through it and help guide them through it. Divorce is such like a taboo subject. And that, that's why there's, there's a lot of divisions on either side of it. But yeah, divorce lawyers charge for their time. They charge for their advice. And they should because it's hard. It's not easy. But people, a lot of times within their life, they may only come into contact maybe with a family law attorney, maybe with a criminal defense attorney if something really goes wrong. Um, but sometimes they'll never come into contact with other types of attorneys depending on what they do for a living. So when they do come into contact, and it's sometimes a little confusing, but again, you want a professional to help you out. Just like, you know, doctors, dentists, you know, accountants, uh, psychologists. I mean, you, you, when you need somebody that's a professional to help you, you would normally want to pay them for their time in order to do it. So that's why um, I don't feel bad with saying that, yes, I get paid for what I do. I get paid to be a divorce lawyer. That's my life. That's my living. I think I'm pretty good at it uh, from my background and from what I've done and doing this for 15 years. So I don't regret in the least of the trajectory of my career and the choices I made. Is it exactly what I thought? You know, sitting in college when I was thinking about going to law school, did I think I was going to be a family law attorney? No, I didn't. I don't think I did the clinic. <laughs> you know, I did a criminal uh, defense clinic, a Bronx Legal Aid, and I, I, I did realize like I, you know, and I, I, I give you know massive respect to attorneys that do criminal defense, but it was something I realized like, that's not what I want to do. So that was helpful for me. And there's other areas of the law that I'm like, that's not what I want to do. And then when I came upon family law, for some reason, something clicked. And I said, this is what I want to do. And I've made it my career, made it my life. And now here's this YouTube channel, even though it's not legal advice, because that's specific to somebody's set of circumstances. And this isn't, this is just information about my life as a divorce lawyer. This is information about um, divorce law in general. There's, it's, it's all encompassing and there's a lot of drama, you know, so there's some videos about drama and things like that, but there's also some educational things of, you know, information about it because there's such a, you know, a, a, a curtain, right. Um, that's pulled behind and we're trying to really just like pull it back and say, Hey, no, this is, we're going to use less jargon because we learn a lot of jargon in law school, right? Like that's, that's like what you do, but you also learn to think like a lawyer. So if you're in law school, that's what you're getting out of it. You're thinking you're, you're that logical reasoning. It was, it's not a, it's not a fluke, but that was a big part of the LSAT, right? Logical reasoning, analysis and all that. And looking at both sides of every situation. So important, so absolutely important for your legal career. And then when you're done with law school, and you are able to think like an attorney, then you're able to make decisions for yourself. And a lot of attorneys, they'll go back and forth between different things and that's fine. You know, it's, it's, it's sometimes they happen into whatever. Sometimes they go down one route, big firm route, and then they, you know, they find they can be general counsel with some, you know, what, there are so many circuitous routes and all types of different things that work for different people. So there's no one path. There's so many different paths from law school. I'm extremely thankful that I did, you know, happen upon some attorneys um, in my freshman year in college that I spoke with about it and realized, hey, this is something I could do. And I spoke with them about it and felt like my skill set and things that I had been interested in. So then I had to work my butt off through all of college to get to that point. And then in law school, again, it's a big difference from college. You get into that first year of law school and you're 1L a year. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah. Uh, realized um, not as smart as I thought I was. Um, I realize that every day, but still it's, 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 it's absolutely mind blowing. And then you, you get in there and you realize, man, I have so much to learn to be an attorney, to think like a lawyer, to write like a lawyer, to argue like a lawyer. Uh, but what an amazing experience. And then when you're done and then the real world sets in and you're like, oh, now I gotta get a job. 
And then you find out. And then again, some people, their first job, they'll be like, nope, that's not what I want to do. I was, again, I was lucky because I did some summer jobs. I did some externships. I did the student attorney clinic thing while I was in. And, and again, that was an amazing experience. All of these types of real world experience is super important for all law students. So again, am I happy with the choices that I made? Absolutely. Am I happy that I'm a divorce lawyer? Yes. And, you know, when my daughter asked me, you know, why I chose it, and also she was asking me, like, did you know? Did you know at that point? Did you know when you were in law school that you wanted to be a divorce lawyer? No. And it's okay. If you're in law school and you're like, I don't know what I want to do. That's fine. If you're out of law school and you're an attorney, I don't know what I want to do. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you, you can still find what you want to do. There are so many different areas. It's only a few different areas of the law where you have to have like a specialized degree, you know, like patent law or something, you know, like there's still so many other things out there. And that's, that's the amazing thing about uh, a law degree. So I'm not like pitching a, <laughs> a law degree, but I did read, I read a ton of books and I'll link some down below of some of the books that I read um, when I was in college and thinking about going to law school. I think it was really, really helpful for me because I got to, you know, see it from different perspectives of attorneys that were out of law school. There was, <laughs> was kind of pre YouTube uh, <laughs> and, you know, didn't have these types of things out there that you could get information easily from attorneys. Um, you know, so it was just the people that I met that were attorneys and talking with them. And then the things that I read and going to bookstores and going to Barnes and Noble and looking at the law section and looking at the, you know, uh, all these other types of books on what law school's like and how to get into law school. Right. But it's been amazing. It's, it's been great. And I'm, I'm really happy with the decision that I did make to do it. But again, is it what I expected then? No, absolutely not. 18 years ago, 19, whatever. However many years ago did I expect a couple of decades later that this is where I'd be? No, but you know, it, it, it life isn't always what you expect. And it's, it's okay to, you know, make some changes, make some iterations. Uh, I think I'd be doing a YouTube channel about divorce now. No, um, no, absolutely not. But you know, here I am and I'm having a great time doing it. So that's kind of awesome part, but uh, it was a really good question for my daughter. So I really thought I would just, you know, kind of throw it out there just from my own personal experience. If you got anything out of this, please subscribe down below. You can like it, dislike it, whatever, <laughs> comment. Uh, let me know some other videos, uh, information that you may want about my legal journey my law school experience, uh, what it's like actually as a divorce lawyer. Uh, court, courts are, you know, it's, it's different um, in the courthouse as it is in law school. 